Here is Blender working on my Chromebook. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get Blender working on your Chromebook. Before we get in, make sure to smash that like, subscribe and bell button and come join my Discord down in the description if you happen to face a problem. Firstly, copy the Crostini container and store flag. Head on over to your Chrome browser and click on it. Now once in Chrome, paste this link in your search bar and hit enter right away. Go ahead and select default. Now quick fact, Debian 10 is Buster, whilst Debian 11 is Bullseye. If you already have the terminal installed, kindly use the last command to check your Debian version. Now select Bullseye as your Debian version and then go ahead and restart your Chromebook for the changes to apply. Now hit the search bar and type in settings. Once in settings, click on advanced and then scroll down and click on developers. Now turn on your Linux development environment and once the screen or the interface pops up, go ahead and click on next. Now feel free to change your Linux development environment name to whatever you please and go ahead and customize the size of your Linux development environment. I'll leave mine at 20 because I use Linux a lot and then I'll hit install. Now all you have to do is wait for the Linux terminal to finish installing. Now copy the link for the scheduler configuration flag. Open your browser, paste it in your search bar and hit enter. Now click on defaults and change it to enables hyper threading. Once done, minimize the tab and go back to the links. Copy the Crostini GPU support flag link, move back to your browser, paste it and hit enter as well. Likewise, click on default and change this to enabled. Now reset your Chromebook so that the Chromebook can apply this. Just a quick word, if you're looking for ways to make money online, you've got to try out peer to profit It's a safe software that allows you to share your internet in return for money. I use this personally and I can vouch that it doesn't steal your personal information and that it's legit. If you're interested, kindly click the link down in the description or the link on my website to get started. Kindly click the link down in the description to get the codes from my website. Now copy from code 1 to 4 and whilst doing that, kindly pay attention to these tips. Firstly, if you happen to face an error when running a code, kindly attempt to rerun the code again, as sometimes slow Wi-Fi or miscopying of a code could be the cause of the error. Secondly, your performance will be hugely based off the specific generation of your CPU and your RAM. Sometimes lagging can be solved by reducing your resolution, but that comes at the cost of the quality or graphics of your game. Also, the performance has personally been tested on an actual Chromebook and a PC turned into branch Chrome OS. Feel free to try any other Chrome OS distros. Now copy the fifth code in the terminal and hit enter. Then this should load up perfectly. However, we are not done just yet. We need to create a shortcut for Blender so we don't have to run the code to open it every time. So go back and copy the seventh code, paste it in your terminal and hit enter and let it run. Now we want to copy the eighth code, paste that in the terminal and hit enter right away. Now that should launch us into menu library. Once in the interface, go ahead and select any category you want. Click the plus sign at the top left hand side and then select our launcher. Now once here, you can go ahead and change the name to Blender and once you've changed the name to Blender, you can click the green tick to the right. You can download the Blender logo and select it from your download for easy identification. Since I already have my image downloaded, I'll get it selected and then I can easily identify the Blender image. Now we need to click the folder icon next to command. Click on your username or if you're already in your Linux files, just enter into your Blender x64 folder. Once in the folder, you can go ahead and click on Blender itself with the blue icon and then click OK in the top right hand corner. Now we can go ahead and save the launcher to make sure the Blender shortcut appears properly and then we can close out of the launcher. Now once we are done, we can hit the search bar and then go ahead and search for Blender. As you can see, the Blender icon pops up on my screen and I can select it. Now here is Blender working on my Chromebook, it is perfect, you can tweak the settings and do whatever you wish to do. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like, subscribe and bell button. And if you happen to face any problems, just click the link down in the description to join my Discord and tell me your problem in my tickets.